Representative Steve King spoke in front of the seniors in the Sammy Center yesterday. Students were also allowed to ask questions. This is all part of the government class election. The government debate is today during 8th period and we will have coverage tomorrow on news break. Wrestling cheerleading practice will start on Tuesday, November 4th from 3.45 to 4.45 p.m. Meeting room 331. If you tried out last year or talked to Mrs. Taves this year, there should be a Google Calendar for cheerleading shared with you. There will be a girls' basketball informational meeting this Friday, October 31st, right after school in Mr. Rankings Room. Volleyball players, please turn in your uniforms to Mrs. Sierk as soon as possible. If you would like to request any songs to be played at the Halloween dance on October 31st, stop by the office and add your ideas to the list. The next ACT test date is December 13th. Registration deadline is November 7th. Now we have Jacob Austin here with us. Cold last night, huh, Jacob? Yeah, it's going to be another cold night tonight. We've got a cold uh, day for Halloween tomorrow as well. All right, well, let's go check out that forecast. Let's, let's do that uh, today. Take a look at the lake out there this morning, a very nice morning out there. It was a very nice night last night as well for football. Partly cloudy skies today. It will be warmer out there, but it's going to be pretty breezy as well, pretty windy, windy conditions today, a high of 56. Low of 27 tonight, so getting back into the 20s tonight. Then looking at tomorrow for Halloween, a cold day out there, only a high of 41 degrees. And another low in the 20s, a low of 26 tomorrow. North-northwest winds 5 to 15 miles an hour, so that won't be too bad out there. Then taking a look at the weekend, partly cloudy conditions. It'll be pretty nice outside, slowly warming as well. 40s on, on Saturday and then going to the 50s on Sunday. But it'll be very windy throughout the entire weekend. And then taking a look at next week, we do have a chance going into Monday morning for some rain showers. But overall, a nice week after that with highs in the 50s. But let's take a look at the practice schedule today. Uh, 54 degrees at 4 o'clock. Feeling like 43 there at 5 o'clock and 37 at 6 o'clock as the sun begins to set there at 6 o'clock. And take a look at the high today, 56, a low of 27 tonight as we were just talking about. Those north northwest west winds continuing 15 to 25 miles an hour overnight tonight. And then taking a look at the seven-day forecast, you do see we're warmer there by Sunday with 57. And those 50s will continue into next week with that slight rain chance coming for Monday morning. But for now, back to you guys. All right, now it's time to send it over to Katie Brevick with today's sports. Congratulations to the Spirit Lake football team on their 35-0 win over MOC Floyd Valley last night. They will play East Sac County this, com this coming Monday at 7 p.m. for the second round of playoffs. Now to the dunk of the day for the day. Uh -huh. right. ah! That is a look at your sports. Back to you guys. Now we have Tyler in with us today. Tyler, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Um, well, since today's Thursday, we have our Throwback Thursday picture again. Let's take a look at that. It's, this is one of our more favorite teachers here at Spirit Lake. Um, as you can see, it's a younger picture. So, what do you guys think about it? I really like the dress. What about you, Lucas? The leggings complement it very well. I really think the shoes just kind of bring the whole picture together. You know, I'm kind of curious on what filter they used on it. You know, it kind of seems like it's Valencia, maybe. You think it could be Expert too? I don't know. I'm just speculating. And make sure to tweet us your guesses using hashtag SLNewsBreak. Now, SLHS, that's all the time we have today. Thank you for watching Newsbreak. You have a great day.